Hey everyone, today I've got this huge box. You can see right there. That thing is eight feet tall. It's an old power box I took from work. It's a, like a power supply for something I build at work. It's one of many. And it was one we weren't using anymore and we're actually gonna throw that thing out. So I looked at that and I just saw, you know, future tool cabinet or toolbox. Because as you can see, that's all still just a complete wreck. That's not for me working. That's uh, <laughs> from when I moved in here, I had some people with me and they just took all my tools and threw them there. I, that's why I told them to, I told them how to organize it later. So to organize it, I got that thing in here and I'm gonna fill it with pegboards. I'm gonna turn around real quick and open it up and show you how big it is. Turn it up. So I flipped the camera around. So this is the cabinet. It's a massive, massive cabinet. What I like about it is, here's the handle. So you pull that up. This door opens. I have emptied it out. I think I got a picture. I'll put it up, you know, in front of you. Um, what it used to look like, this door actually opens too. So what I'm figuring is I'm gonna put pegboards across the bottom and on the sides. And I can put all my, you know, cordless drills, all my uh, sockets and everything. So I'm gonna start mounting everything and cutting everything. I'll show you the pegboard I got and turn this cool thing into a toolbox. That way I don't have to turn, or that way I don't have to use this thing all the time. This is, God, it's dirty. I didn't really need to clean it. Um, this is my old toolbox. I actually bought this thing. Let me step back. I've had that box since I was 17 or 18. That was my first toolbox. So you can see over the years, people I've worked with in shops and friends have put Grady exhaust sticker, our emblems. That was the guy I worked with. That came off a not Porsche 911. <laughs> Even on the side, there's a Toyota emblem. And that actually is the side, that's the side fender emblem for a Ferrari 360 convertible. I, I'll get into details if you guys want to later on in another video about all that. I don't think there's any more. Yeah, it's just magnets and other stuff. But this box has basically just become a catch-all for, you know, like everybody has. Just a catch-all for all your crap. And I need to stop that. <laughs> so, that big cabinet is going to hold all the tools nice and organized. And this is going to hold just kind of storage. I'm going to clean it up, make the box look good again, and just use it for storage and kind of keep this thing as, you know, it's sentimental. I've had it forever. So let's go to that pegboard. That pegboard is enormous. I think it's uh, eight feet long. I can't remember how wide it is. But once I cut it to the right length, that's what you'll see when you open that door on that cabinet, that'll be the back wall. And I'll get all the cool little hooky mabob things and hang all my wrenches and it'll be awesome. It'll be really nice to uh, just walk over. So I'll walk, if I need something, I'll just walk over here. Everything is still being built. Open that cabinet and that pegboard will be right there. That would be awesome. So yes, so there's the pegboard. Cut it, place it in from top to bottom, or there you go, from bottom to top. Made it fit the whole width of that. And something you'll notice is this right here. So this is behind this. So I just literally drilled a hole in it every once in a while and bolted it. There's uh, another one down there. And it's the same thing on the other side. So now, 
I have that entire that the pegboard is seven feet by I think I forget how far how how wide it is, but that's a pretty good size. And now to help clear all the clutter, I've got these. So these things you uh, stick in the pegboard. Let me let me just grab a couple. And I'll show you. So you just take these. Stick it in a hole and try and do this while I'm looking through the camera. Stick it in the hole, there you go. And it's it's not going anywhere. It's pretty solid. There's some junk on there. And then I've got enough room <laughs> to cover this entire thing all the way down with those. So I can hang a set of wrenches sockets, more wrenches, screwdrivers. I'm gonna hang a, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get another pegboard, hang it from this, this whole wall, and I'm gonna put all my cordless drills, chargers, basically everything, portable drills and everything will be on this wall. And then all hand tools will be along this. And I think I might do on this whole wall, same thing, pegboard, but I might do, let me get a little further back. So you guys can get an idea. Ow, there we go. So that whole wall might be another pegboard of, you know, like specialty tools. That way everything's organized in one big case. And once the thing is closed, it just looks like a giant power box. It doesn't look like a toolbox. So God forbid somebody actually breaks into my garage They'll go after my blue toolbox and find a bunch of crap I've stored in there. Maybe they won't find my tools. <laughs> so I'm going to hang some stuff up and I'll come back and show you guys. So check it out guys. So the pegboard's on. I put a few of those things on. And see? So I can have a bunch of my ratchets together. Some screwdrivers. I'm going to get a whole brand new set of screwdrivers. God knows how old some of those are. And then I've got these uh, little cheap plastic holders. You just slide your socket on and it shows what size. So I got a few of them. I got them all in different sizes. So it was half inch, three eighths, and quarter at the top. So yeah, half inch, three eighths, quarter. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna go through all of these, take them all out, clean them down, because they've been just some of them actually got a little rust on from sitting. So I'm going to clean everything really well once I have it all set up the way I want. I just started. So far, let's see if I can back up here a little. So what do you guys think so far? I think that's a pretty cool little setup. And what's funny is I might have 30 or $40 in this whole thing right now. <laughs> Because that pegboard was uh, $20. And then little miscellaneous things here and there. Cabinet was free. Yeah. I'm going to put some more stuff in it and I'll come back. You guys will hopefully see full. So I've been working on this a little bit. Ready to show you guys what it looks like. I put some lights inside and some tools and... Let's just show you. So it just so it looks like a cabinet. You open the door up, and this door opens too. So look at that. So I just used some pegboard and a bunch of the uh, the little hooks they can get from like Harbor Freight. And there you go. What do you guys think about that? Think it looks good? It'll be a lot easier to come in here to get a screwdriver or something like that. I can just grab it and go. Put it back. So I'm very happy with it. Hope you guys think it's really cool. Uh, I mean, this was just scrap. I maybe, I don't know, I got maybe a hundred bucks in this thing. So <laughs> that's, that's pretty good 
for our toolbox. And look how awesome it looks. And all I did was put some LED lighting in here. I'll show you real quick. So let's look inside and I'll go through, you know, what pieces cost and where to get them from and all that good stuff. So let's start from the top. So this is just a magnetic strip and you just screw it in place. I know some of my tools are rusty. I'm going to clean a lot of stuff in here. I just wanted to get everything in. So once you screw those in place, you can just stick stuff onto it. So same thing over here with wrenches or adjustable wrenches. And then these are just those little Harbor Freight or you can get them on Amazon, eBay. You can pretty much get them anywhere. It's the little pegboard tool holders. So I just put those up and I put some right here, put the sockets on. Same thing, basically everything in here is just the little hooks. And then I'll have those. It's good. Something I've noticed over the years of working on stuff is it's great to have tools set up like this for when you're in your garage. But you know what really sucks is when you got to go somewhere and you need some tools with you. Like you go to the scrap yard or, you know, someone's house just to help them out with something real quick. Maybe something small. Is I've noticed it's good to have basically, I call them to-go tools. You can just grab it, it's got a little handle and everything. Just grab them and go. Safety glasses, pry bars, markers, everything you need. Extensions. Told you I'd get some new screwdrivers. So let's show you the uh, the lighting is just, let me go down the power. So I just drilled a hole and this is just the stick on. Let me uh, might unplug it. <laughs> there we go. So this is just a stick on LED. It just has a 12 volt input. And I just take, took it and stuck it along the inside of the wall. I didn't even try to make it super pretty or anything. I just made a loop around and made it go around to the other side and just made it go down. It goes all the way down. I didn't feel like cutting it, so I just stuck it to the sidewall. <laughs> you, you don't even notice. So let me plug that back up. And then you'll just take a power And if I can get the plug in, there we go. There we go. So from out here, you don't notice that. You don't even notice the one that's stuck on the wall unless you actually, uh, you know, kind of walk in and look at it. I'm, I am very happy with it. Guys, if someone's throwing stuff out like that, yeah, you, you might be called like a garbage picker or something like that or dumpster diver but look how awesome that is you can pay hundreds if not thousands of dollars for a nice toolbox or you can make something unique like this i mean come on so that's going to be the end of the video guys if you're not a subscriber to my channel yet hit that little subscribe button stick around and watch other videos go through my my library of videos. I've got some cool stuff going on and I've got a lot of cool stuff coming up because this was one of my basically my things that were holding me back is every time I was like I'm gonna work on something I I had tools everywhere I couldn't find a damn thing <laughs> so this right here is gonna help me a lot so that means the rest of my day is gonna be spent cleaning up in here and I still guys look at all the tools I still have I got a lot of stuff to organize, but thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like the video, give me a comment what you guys think about the box. Do you think it's a really cool idea or do you think I kind of wasted my time? I should have just gotten a regular toolbox. So thanks for stopping by watching.